the brand new Little Bean merch is here! Head over to bplayers.shop to check out the Christmas collection. Hello wonderful Little Beans, my name is B and welcome back to another video. Today we are joined by not only Callan but also the Twitch audience right now who are going to be down below in the chat just underneath my face. But hi Callan, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I see Jam Jam filling the chat right now underneath my face, just making sure that her <laughs> name's in there. As you guys Jam all... Jam wants to come. Oh yeah, oh uh, yeah, Jam Jam, I can send you the private server link if you want, if you want to join. Oh uh, yes, please Jam, come. Yeah, I'll send it to Jam Jam in DMs right now. By the way guys, you may remember that in the past, usually most updates, Kalin and I will do a stream together where we talk about the updates and like little easter eggs and stuff, but this time we didn't get to do that. So I thought it would be nice if we did it in like a video form format where we talk about this update together um, on YouTube in the video since obviously the update is mostly out obviously we've had the little mini one that came out in November and we've had the advent going out throughout the month so firstly I wanted to ask you before we start how how do you feel or what are your opinions on some of the advent items we've got so far I like I love this advent so much I think it's really cool and it has a lot of unique items that like we're never really in rural high before, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, um, that sword that we got today is, like, really cool, because I don't think we really have any, like, weapons or, like... No, and the only sword we do have is really hard stuff. to get from the wheel. It's, like, impossible. Yeah. So... So it's really cool, and, um... We also... This is, I guess, a little bit of tea. Um, nothing really crazy, though. But that penguin that you guys got the first day was actually, like made for summer so like it's kind of cool because ah. like, like, penguins are very summery animals well it was like <laughs> the whole like pier thing yeah i see what you mean like, yeah uh, like a little teddy that you could win from like a like yeah. doing one of the pier th um, games like an arcade game i guess oh, i like yeah. that that's cute so it's it's really cool because like it kind of has like not only stuff that's just christmasy but stuff that's kind of like like, I don't know, like, Universal? Jam Same Jam's like here. <laughs> Jam Jam's here. I see her, like, walking around in the corner. <laughs> No, yeah, I think that's really cool, though. It's nice that we've got some items that are not necessarily all um, things that were usually in the game. It's nice to see that we've got some different things. I really, really enjoy all of the items that have come out so far. The advent as well. Who made the final decision, if you can share this, on making it 30 days instead of 25 this year? I was all Barbie. Barbie, so she decided we've got a lot of accessories that's, that's add extras. Yeah, or did she specifically I... want it to be 30 days already from the start? Honestly, I have no idea how like the new advent changes came to be, but I do know that was like Barbie and Ice that like worked on that. Oh, well that's, I mean, it's really cool though, because after Christmas, I feel like last year and in most, not just in Royal High, but in general, I think we all kind of feel like a bit of a down, don't we, after Christmas day? Because you still got the rest of December until New Year's Eve, and it's kind of like there's a few days of just like meh, you know, where you're not doing anything and you feel kind of down because you're still off school. But yeah, you've got new toys or new things to play with or things to do, but it's kind of like a downer, isn't it? Because you've been so excited all month for Christmas and then just out of nowhere, you're like, Ugh. So at least we still have the Royal High Advent to look forward to for those last few days. Have something to get up and get excited about every day when you log in and stuff. I think that's really cool. Um, so the three people that made the Advent things, are, they were all made by, correct me if I'm wrong, but they were all made by Fair Plays. Uh, pure sweetener and is it ready that made some of them or was it ocean that made some of them ocean did the penguin right um and i think ocean did a couple of the other ones okay um Jam -jam don't just dancing think, in the background i don't think ready did any oh no uh ready did the the sword and then the oh, right, okay. item her did a lot Sina did a lot Okay, uh, Ocean Ops okay. did a couple and Brady did a couple. I see, all right. So, Fair Play has obviously been very busy this update with lots of uh, accessories and things, and obviously a lot of the items that came out of the look shop before. So, I have to, I'm very curious. What did, what, what was Ready's main focus for this update? Because obviously normally Ready's focus in the updates is a lot of the items, isn't it? And like the sets and stuff, but Fair kind of has kind of been doing the sets recently. So as Jam Jam, I know Ready, sorry, has been doing in the last update, a lot of textures and stuff, right? For the last updates. So has yeah. Ready been doing that again for this one? So Ready um, um, has actually like, she's been really growing her skills a lot recently. Mm -hmm. And um, 
She, for the past three updates, she's really been into like environmental design. So if you look oh. around, and this is something people didn't notice, but every single building in the Christmas in the Christmas realm was reworked. Every single one. There's not a single building that's the same. Oh really? So a lot of like have changed. It, so if you look all around the map, those little houses on the top, those are all completely new. Oh yeah. Um, and then this cafe was completely redone. Same design, but mm. completely redone with new textures. And then a lot of the older, like uh, other buildings, um, have been completely like retexturized and um, updated a little bit. I see. So was Beerzim involved in the rework this time, or was it just her base? No. Okay. No, but there are. It is. It's nice. It's kind of like a mixture of Reddy's textures, Charlie's textures, and Beerzim's textures. I see. So, um, B wasn't involved with the rework, but obviously she made the best last year. Was she too busy to jo to have like join in this time? I'm not actually not sure. I've never communicated with her ever. So. I know that because I, I, the thing I, I don't actually remember. You guys might obviously, when we who were watching this video, might actually know more than me. But by the time I had joined the Royal High community and started making videos, Beism actually hadn't worked on anything except the Christmas update. So I don't, I didn't know what else Beism worked on, anyways. But obviously, you can still see the touch of Beism throughout the realm of like the. The stuff that obviously that started the basis, but was it Jam that made the main did the main reworks for this for like the whole thing? Because I know Jam Jam was the one that tweeted the tea out for like the little screenshots of the realm, so I get the assumption that Jam made most of the rework of the actual realm. Jam Jam was busy, 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 busy. Jam did all this new garland, all these new lights, the new cookie stations. Mm -hmm. um, she did the whole new front area. Uh, and then Vianchi did the tree, Vianchi did like the fountain, um, and then they both worked on a couple other like little I things. I knew the there. tree was new. I said to everyone the tree was different. And everyone was like, no, it's the same tree. And I was like, it's not the same tree. I knew no. it wasn't the same tree. Any, like, any snowy, like, uh, pine texture this year, like the garland, the trees, like, all those are new. They might, they, like, yeah. <laughs> I could tell yeah, the tree was new because they're all frosty and cute. Um, yeah, that's a new texture. All right, Jab Jab's jumping around. I'm guessing she's running around the things that she worked on towards the front. So she redid the front stuff, and I'm assuming like the train station and the train area and stuff. I'm guessing, and then the, go on. That that train area is the same. Ex however, oh, right, okay. this whole like staircase up here wasn't there. Um, she like reworked like all these like trees and like a little centerpiece right here and yeah. Um, Obviously, the carousel oh, ready, is different too. Yeah, ready the te uh, ready did that. Oh my gosh, the pa I just I've only just noticed those crystallized patterns on the on the thing. It's kind of giving me frozen vibes. There's like crystallized it's, patterns on the side. It's so pretty. It is so nice. It's like Dis It's almost like Disney like levels of pretty. <laughs> and then of course the fountain was reworked and is very good, all frozen and spiky with the ice and stuff, which I think you just said was Bianchi, right? Yeah. I love that. And then also, I noticed question because this this isn't necessarily just this update, but is the fountain gal the person who's on the picture that used to be used for Royal High's thumbnails and stuff like that on everything? Like whenever Royal High was advertised, it was like this princess with like big hair like that. Is that the same person as the fountain gal, or am I just like over overthinking the connection? Uh, the fountain girls are always the same. Oh yeah, okay. So mm -hmm. I wonder if like the person if it's based originally off of that like. Was it Suki who made the original like picture? I, I believe that the fountain girl is Suki. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know why I never. I don't know why that never computed in my head. But I love it. It's great. So has the underground parts in this round been redone, or is it? Because I can't really tell. I think it has partly, right? Um, there's some little things here and there. Like, um, I was bored one night, and so I replaced some of the waterfalls. Uh, okay. Um, so like that's the garlands. different. The garlands are new down there. Um, other than that, I don't... Oh, there's... Oh, okay, so there's this really pretty bridge under there for the sleds. That's brand new. Um, right. Yeah. Oh, um, Jam just brought up something. So there's the Christmas tree light, like the Christmas light system that me and Jam did together. Okay. Um, which you will see like all the Christmas lights like blink and stuff. Oh like, yeah, on the trees and stuff, they're all changing colors. 
Yeah, that was me. That was a little cloud thing me and Jen. Can didn't you do. still sit on the seats on these presents? I don't know why, but I haven't been down here properly. I haven't looked. Oh, you can. You can still sit on them. Okay, we can be friends with the polar bears and sit on the seats still on the presents, and I love that. Okay, so, um, question. Mm -hmm. Is this it for the for the realm for the updates? If you can tell us, I'm assuming there won't be any changes to the actual realm now for the rest of Christmas. This is how it's going to look for the rest of the the like, Christmas update. I'm guessing. I ask because last year there was a change right in the middle to the apartments lobby of the um, thingy, and they changed part of the realm. Of that Jam Jam and Fiance, I believe, made the apartments lobby and reworked it in the middle of the update. Yeah, that was Jam Jam and Fiance. Yeah. Big changes to the map. Um, I guess you'll just have to wait and see. Oh, okay. I guess we'll have to just wait and see. All right, so one thing I wanted to talk about a little bit because I don't want to get the information incorrect and I've not really, I wasn't there for Lance's stream, so I don't really know. Jam Jam sat mm -hmm. in me um, <laughs> on the present. <laughs> um, one thing I wondered about is obviously there was some talk about the fact that you guys are going to be doing the updates earlier this, like from next year <laughs> onwards, obviously. Not earlier as in the release earlier, but that you're going to be working on each one earlier. Can you explain to me a little bit about how that's going to work and what the plan is? because I wasn't there for the stream, so I don't actually fully know what was talked about in that. Okay, so... A lot of our updates are done in very short periods of time. Um, yeah. For example, East Easter was done in two weeks. Um, last New Year's was done in one week. Um, so, like... Yeah, and it is causing it, like, I don't know if you noticed, like, summer had a big delay. Um, Easter was delayed until, like, the, say, like, until, like, Easter day. Um, New Year's had a delay. So, we're trying to basically work on the updates and update beforehand. So, let's yeah. say, let's say we want the update to come out the first of, this is just, like, a like a fake update day, but let's say we want it to come out like March 1st. We'll start working on it. Um, it's a month before a month. So probably like, we'll get, so we'll get it finished and ready for testing like early February. Right, I see. So I guess in a way it's kind of like how on my, for me, for anyone that doesn't know, I actually record two days in advance. All the videos you're watching now, I've actually recorded two days before, unless like big, like exciting tea that needs to be out straight away. I record mm -hmm. them two days in advance to stay ahead. So I guess it's kind of the similar thing. Rather than recording the night before and panicking to get it out the next day, I record two days in advance to make sure there's plenty of time to get everything done. Make sure there's no issues, test it, you know, things like that. I am guessing it's the same sort of idea. You want to have everything be done in advance so you've got plenty of time to make sure everything's working obviously use beta testers now as well don't you for the updates so i'm assuming that yeah. means that the goal is to have everything tested everything like that not have any issues when you launch and hopefully that also means that when the update comes out you won't panic as much to have everything you know constantly checking your messages like there's something gonna go wrong um and hopefully won't have as many things that you need to panic about to fix quickly um, and have a thing ready in time. I'm, there's a giant buddy behind you right now, in case you're interested. <laughs> um, Jam Jam. It's literally Jam Jam's personality being represented right now behind you. Um, so, I'm guessing that's going to make you guys feel a lot better as well, because there'll be a lot less pressure on you for um, getting the updates done. So I guess there is one burning question that has been coming up in my community a lot. I, I have a feeling you aren't going to be able to answer this question, but I'm going to ask. Barbie said in Lance's stream that in the future, her goal is that all of the seasonal updates be inside of the new school once it's out. So mm -hmm. does that mean you will all still work on them? Um, I don't think we'll ever not work on them. So I'm um, assuming we can all still feel confident that the new seasonal updates, even if they're in the new school, will still be exciting and the, the changes will still be so fun and each time that we'll all get hyped for the seasonal updates. It won't just be like, a, we'll change the colour of the room. Yeah, no. Um, I I know she still wants to have, like, a, like the one, one thing we love doing as the Christmas crew is we love doing, like, like big events, if you've noticed. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. Um, <laughs> So, instead of just like making whole new realms to showcase these events, 
he'd rather than like be in the school. So like yeah. maybe let's say if this is just an example. Um, let's say next Easter, um, instead of having the event in Divinia Park, it would be in the new school and it'd be incorporated into the school. Oh, so like it could be somehow like a Easter egg hunt around the school campus. Yeah. Hypothetically. I love that. Um, one other thing, this is not a question. This is a idea that someone in my community submitted recently and I wanted to bring it up to a dev just because I love it. I knew that obviously <laughs> it would be that it would be it would be up to Barbie. But someone had an idea for an update that I think would be really cool. And have you ever played a game where it has like daily quests where it's still just stuff that's in the game, but you get um, a point for like completing certain things, such as in like Minecraft, it does it as well. Like say if you go on Hypixel, for example, it'll be like play two games of Bed Wars, play one game of something, play whatever, and then they'll give you like mm -hmm. a prize at the end. Someone had the idea of like each day you have different randomized sets and they could be picked between like say one day you go on and it could be play two rounds of Battle Alla Royale, play two rounds of the pageant and go to your, do one full day of school. And, you're, and at the end, you'll be given so much XP or some diamonds for completing those, those individual quests each day. Then the next day, it could be like, um, win one pageant and win one battle Battle Royale game. You know, it could be like a mix of different stuff or complete two full days of school and all your homework on time. You know, just like random things that are already in the game, but just as a thing for each person when they log in every day to have that goal of completing something in the game. And I just love that idea. I just thought that would be really cool because they could have like a little, like a little note thing on the side of the screen or whatever. They can open it up and it'd be like, um, today's girls, it could be like girls instead of objectives. It could be like today's girls are to complete two classes and bake cookies for your friends and attend at least one um, after school ball or dance and then at the end you'd get say I don't know like a thousand diamonds or 500 diamonds or like some XP or something I just thought that'd be so cool because the things are already in the game it's not actually adding right. any new necessarily content but it does give people this kind of push of stuff to complete each day and I actually thought I wonder if Barbie would actually like that idea I just read it in my comments and was like this is actually a really cool idea it was actually from the Twitter thread that I asked people for their ideas on um, and for their critique on and that idea came up and I just thought that's actually really cool um because a lot of games do that like when i used to play minecraft actively i don't know if you guys ever watched my videos who are watching this video about when i used to play minecraft but when i used to play minecraft bed wars it would be that you had to break 25 beds in a week and in a day you had to win two games you had to win one game and play two games in total so play two full games win one game and get 25 beds and if you did that you got like a load of xp and or whatever for completing each one so it was like a weekly objective and two daily ones every day and the two daily ones were actually the same every day it was always play two games win one game and the weekly one was always get 25 beds but it actually made me feel encouraged to play the game because i had this like objective even though it wasn't a big deal and it was still using the content that was already in the game that I was already good to play. It just made me feel encouraged to play it. Do you know what I mean? And I think that yeah. um, it's a really cool idea. I thought I would, I thought I would send it along to you guys just because I actually really like the idea. We have actually talked about that idea before. Oh, um, like I, we talked about it maybe last December, okay. um, and we talked about it like recently too. Um, I can't for sure like say what's happening because I'm obviously like not in really involved with that kind of stuff. But um, I think that it's something that she would really want to put in the game if she had the opportunity to. Okay, so never mind, you guys. Keep your eyes peeled. You never know. Exactly. Um, I think a lot of the time, a lot of the stuff comes down to the fact that Barbie would like to add a lot of these things in. It just comes down to time and availability. Doesn't yeah. Matter all the time. It's it's hard because people don't realize like just how much work goes into small things like mm -hmm. For example four colors like because you can color things four colors like it used to be like only two colors I think four colors took them like a month to make Work. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then so, they like, all added to all the accessories they added to as well individually as well Yeah, but like just like the scripting portion and getting it like in, into the game like like to like a month so like like it seems like a small thing i'll just add like two more color slots but in reality a lot of things like take a long time mm -hmm. 
I think it's good for people to maybe recognize as well how long these things take. Because sometimes I think people are like, well, you can just add this thing in. Why don't you just add this thing in? I see a lot of people that are like, how hard would it be to just add a mini game? And I'm like, are you kidding me? Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously they no. have no idea what actually comes into creating things like that. Yeah, no, and I've, I've had to explain that to like other people too before. It's like, like when you start really taking into account like the things that like how you have to do for a mini game, like it's it gets to be a lot. Like you have to stop exploiting, you have to account for people leaving, you have to account for people resetting, you have to account for like winning, losing, flying, like all this crazy stuff. Um, and then there's like like um, like individual cases like for each like um, mini game itself, I guess. So like um, for like in, with an example would be like. Um, How do I explain this? Um, <laughs> like the Easter update, like um, like when somebody gets the, how many eggs, can they pick up another egg? Is this person too far from an egg? How do we know when they're like cheating? You know, like it's, yeah, it's there's so much to think thing. about. Yeah, so that's why they take a long time. Um, and I, I, I've always wanted a lot of games in Royal High. Like I've always strive to make as many mini games as I can, but honestly, like there's so much work that like I really can only make one like every other update, which mm -hmm. is I think how I've been doing it. Um, so I did one for East, I did one for Easter, didn't do one for summer, did one for Halloween, didn't do one for winter. Mm -hmm. So ho hoping to get one in for New Year's. So, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I noticed that Jab Jab just said this is like an Urper interview. <laughs> it's long like one. Um, okay, so final, final question. Can we expect more quests in New Year's? If you could answer it. I am going to say that this New Year's is going to be different than last year's. But that's not on to the quests. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, my last point, which isn't a question, but the last thing I want to say, by the way, is I don't understand what anybody is saying. That Halo is beautiful. I love it that. gorgeous. I love it so much. I love the simplicity. I love, like, it, feel, it just feels, like, ethereal. I love it. I just think that's so cool. It literally looks like casing that is holding the Northern Lights inside of it, like a special casing holding it in. I love that. I think that's absolutely amazing. But I'm gonna, if I ever win it, I'm gonna color it yellow and tweet about it being horrible. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I love how that's become like a meme now, just like coloring <laughs> things yellow and saying they're horrible. <laughs> because if it looks like we, then it's obviously not good. I don't know, for those of people that don't know, because they're probably not going to understand that, um, when the last Halo that Jam Jam did came out, people were colouring it in yellow, then tweeting saying it was horrible, because obviously it looked bad in yellow. Um, but actually, it was a really gorgeous Halo, and people were just exaggerating. And by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, a little fun fact while Jam Jam's actually in the game with me right now. I have both the... Right, Jam Jam made two Halos, right? The Valentine's 21 and the Christmas 2020, right? Is that right? Am I correct in thinking that? Jam Jam. Well, all the all the Halos Jam Jam's done. She did Halo. Oh, no, oh my God. She did Halloween twenty. Right, that's she right. She did Christmas twenty. Yeah. She did Valentine's twenty one. Yeah. She did um, 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 uh, Halloween twenty one. Yeah. Okay, sir. So, I don't have the Halloween twenty one one. But I do have all of the other ones of Jam's Halos. I have the Halloween 2020, I have the Winter 2020, and if it makes Jam feel good, I traded my Valentine's 2020 for the Valentine's 21, even though the Valentine's 2020 at the time had double the value of the Valentine's 2021, just because I liked it so much better. Um, because I just liked how it looked. I just thought it was so pretty. Um, so I actually swapped them. Because I don't care about Halo values anyway. I just swapped them for whichever's prettiest. Um, 
I just I just literally want the prettiest one, so I don't care. Right now, I'm actually wearing my Winter 2018, I think it is, the Winter Crystal one, because I have the Winter 2018 and 2019 one as well as the 2021. Um, I don't have Winter 2021, and I'm sad because I've got every other Winter Healer, so I want to get the Winter 2021 one really bad, but the fans in hates me. And the Healer trading <laughs> prices are insane, so there's no way I'm <laughs> I'm paying that. Have you seen, by the way, I know that devs can't give official tier list prices that everybody keeps asking for them, and I keep telling them this, that it's a community-led thing, so there's no reason why the devs would give it. But have you actually seen how much people are trading them? Like, have you seen the tier list and how much people are trading the Healers for? It's I, insanity. I really don't do like the whole like trading thing. I have no, no idea. Do I for this reason. Apparently, apparently it's acceptable that every there isn't a single healer in Royal High anymore that is trading for less than than like a million diamonds. I can see that. But they never used to be like that though. The cheapest one used to be the spring 2020, and that used to go for like. 200,000 to 400,000 diamonds. And wow. now it's like 900,000 diamonds. I understand though why they're so expensive because they're, they are worth a lot. They're rare, that's the whole point. They're meant to be pretty, they're meant to be beautiful. They're meant to be amazing. But if you want to get a rarest healer, which is the Halloween 2019 healer, if you don't know, it's the rarest because that's the one that has the least wins from the fountain. Um, that healer, people on tradery and people just in general in the trade hub are trading that healer for anywhere between 8 to 11 million diamonds. Um, so oh. that's some serious grinding. And apparently people are actually buying them for that price. But right now, the 2021 winter healer, even though they don't know the value yet, because obviously it hasn't come out yet, people are trying and succeeding to to charge about three million diamonds for it. So um, that's why I don't have one because I can no longer, I used to trade a lot of healers. I've got 14 healers and I feel very proud of that. I can no longer afford to trade healers <laughs> anymore. So um, I don't. If for anyone that's interested, I don't know if you guys want to know, but I have two angel healers. I, I have the spring healer, lucky healer, well, spring healer 21, lucky healer 21. The spring healer 21 was the last one I got because you gave me it. The valentine's healer 21. I have Halloween 2018, winter 2020, corrupt, mermaid 2020, lucky healer 22. 20, Winter Halo 2019, Winter Halo 2018, Halloween Halo 2020, Glimmering Light Halo, and Spring Halo 2020. That's what I have. But I don't think I'll ever get another Halo, because unless I win it from the fountain, they cost way too much, so I will not trade another <laughs> one. I mean, James, my moderator, just told me um, that he traded his large train burst gear for the Winter 2021 Halo, because he wanted it that bad, because it was he loves the 2021 Halo so much. But the large train burst gear is one of the rarest items in Royal High. So... I don't know if that trade was worth it, but if you love your Halo, then great. That's that's all that matters. But yeah, the, the Halo trading prices are quite something. They are really quite something. And that's why everybody's been trying to demand the devs make an official tier list. But I'm like, they're not going to do that. That's ridiculous. But that's why I, I don't know if you've seen the tweets honest, about it, but yeah. Honestly, I think to us, like, every Halo is, like, equal. Like, I don't really That's what I like... always say though, but no one listens. I'm always like, people always say to me, should I trade for this hail or trade for that hailer because the value is higher? And I'm like, get the one that you think is prettier. Whichever right, one you yeah. think will match your outfits that you like to make or whichever one you think is going to look nicest and you're going to use, get that one. Because like people are always saying that it needs to be the nicest one, but have you guys not noticed yet, if people who watch my videos, that I pretty much always wear the Winter Halo 2020 through Christmas? Because I love it, look at how pretty it is. And the, I'm wearing the 2018 one right now as well because I wear that one too. So the 2020 and the 2018 are the two that I wear the most. And if you look at the 2018 one that I'm wearing right now with all the snowflakes, how gorgeous is that? It's so pretty, the crystal halo. I, I wear that one all the time, so I love it. I don't care about how the, the tea list or anything like that. I just pick the ones that are pretty. And the one that I'm wearing right now goes really well with the outfit that I'm wearing. That's why I have it, because I like it. I don't know why people... Oh, it's, it's a whole thing, it's a whole thing. Anyways, thank you so much, Sham Jam and Callum, for joining me for this and talking a little bit about the updates. I do appreciate it, it was exciting. Um, for those of you guys out there who might be interested, we are going to do a little video where Callum is going to answer your questions instead of... Oh, Jam Jam died. 
Callan's going to answer your questions instead of mine. So the question's taken from the Twitch chat because we're live right now at the same time. So if you want to see that video, it'll be out in a couple days. But thank you for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click that bell. And of course, use stack code B. That's B-E-A when buying Robux or Premium. I'll see you guys next time, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Callan. Sure. And Jam, of course.